Imagine this, it is a smelting hot day and you're peering down at your bus tracking app, eagerly awaiting your fully air-conditioned public carriage to ferry you to your next destination, possibly to a spin class or a work meeting that you're dreading because you're supposed to be working from home today and you're forced to go to the office. Finally, you see it in the distance, bellowing down the highway, approaching nearer by the second. Your nipples stand erected at the thought of finally entering the chilled walkway of the bus you've been waiting all afternoon for, only to see it zoom past you, oblivious to your existence, essentially spitting in your face in disgust that you would think that you had the honour of entering its sacred air-conditioned walkway. What would you do? Hmm? Would you take it in stride and wait for the next bus? Would you rent to your friends? Or would you proceed to make a TikTok that would then get viral and be shed on by the entire internet for sounding egregiously self-entitled? Well, the latter is exactly what happened when a woman decided to rent about this on TikTok. Let's have a look at it. Okay, I'm trying to make sense if this is my fault or what because right, I was waiting for the bus at this bus stop I'm waiting for bus number 2, which I waited 9 minutes for. Oh good golly gee, did you guys hear that? She waited for a staggering 9 minutes. I the audacity of that fucking bus. Nine minutes? How dare it make you wait nine minutes for a public bus? I'm sure in nine minutes she could have made a thousand dollars day trading stocks. She could have closed a 20 million dollar deal during that time. Clearly, I mean judging by how angry she looks, she's probably a girl boss CEO who decided to grace us peasants by taking the bus for the first time in her life. Clearly, she hasn't taken a bus before because nine minutes, it's mind blowing to her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Maybe it's her first time taking the bus because she's a rich CEO. That's why she doesn't know that it takes nine minutes to wait for the bus. Now I get it. So I was like waiting, right? And then I saw the bus. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna like, stand there and wait. I stood there and wait lah, okay? Is it my fault that I never put my hand out? Because the bus just drive away eh. Huh? Can I do one me? Can I do one me? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, huh? Can I one man? This is outrageous. Can I one man? I mean, I too am thoroughly shocked to my core that the bus driver didn't have telekinetic powers or telepathy to read your mind. This is extremely, extremely shocking. I feel you, girl. I too am shocked to my core. What are they teaching them at bus driving school? You know, guys, here's a little fun fact that many of you probably don't know. Every member of the Singapore Bus Drivers League was handpicked from the uterus of a virgin fairy. And factually, all of them are supposed to have elite tier Charles Xavier level telepathy and mind reading abilities to cater to the needs of each and every passenger. What are you gonna tell me they don't massage your feet after you bought the bus? <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy because that would be a crime against humanity. I expect my feet to be rubbed by the gentle hands of a bus driver whenever I bought the bus. That's just standard practice at this point, right? Oh, imagine bus drivers not being able to read our minds to know when we want to board the bus. That's just outrageous. I stand there, it's not enough. I have to put my hand out with you. Why I never take bus? This is why I hate taking bus. Because I always stay at Marty. Ugh, yeah, fuck buses, man. <laughs> Preposterous, you're telling me that I have to use my hands to wave at the bus to stop? Oh, that's unfathomable. I. No. I have to use my hands to wave down buses like an uncultured troglodyte? That is absolutely disgusting. What kind of primitive form of society are we living in? You mean Singapore's bus drivers aren't equipped with neuro-linguistic programming or are experts in body language reading to know when we feel like boarding the bus? In fact, may I propose this? Every bus driver in Singapore should also attend aura reading workshops to judge how I'm feeling prior to boarding the bus so that, you know, they can play the appropriate in-transit music on the bus to match my mood. Like if they sense that I'm angry, they would play, I don't know, Metallica or Avenged Sevenfold. That's the least that we should all expect. Singapore bus drivers, what are you guys doing? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on this girl for sounding so self-entitled. Neither am I making this video in reaction to how a simple matter like missing the bus has struck her to her core that she had to sound so traumatized in this TikTok video. No, no, no. I'm simply agreeing with her that waving down buses is <sighs> Too primitive at a gesture to perform. I mean, we are in Singapore, and I will be writing to my MP to eradicate this sacrilegious gesture. Ew, ugh, uh, ew, waving for a bus, ew, yucks. Speaking of buses, check out the most crowded bus stop in Singapore. Good golly gee, look at how many people there are. So, this is supposedly the most crowded bus stop in Singapore. Oh my gosh. So, this is bus stop 46069 at Woodlands train checkpoint. I mean, just look at how many people there are. Just looking at this video is already giving me 
anxiety, you know, having to rush onto the bus and claw your way up and grabbing babies and throwing them out of the way to make space for me. That is just so anxiety inducing. Also, shout out to SG Yup for this video, SG Yup on YouTube. I mean, this is honestly my worst nightmare. Imagine having not only to wake up early in the morning to catch a bus, but your struggles have just begun because now you have to fight and claw your way up the bus. Who knows? You might even get trampled to death. But yeah, wow, look at how many people there are. Imagine if TikTok bus stop girl was here. Can I know what I mean? I mean, she would literally die of cringe. She'll be like, what? You expect me to squeeze onto the bus with with other people? You, you, can I that one, man? Can I that one, man? Can I that one, man? You mean we have to queue up to board the bus? Can I that one, man? I'm just wondering why there aren't any, you know, shuttle buses here to alleviate the problem. Or maybe they could increase the bus intervals to ferry more people out of the bus stop. But yeah, apparently hundreds of thousands of Malaysians are commuting daily to Singapore to work to avoid the crowds at CIQ and the causeway jams. Many cross the causeway at 5am or earlier. Wow, 5am. Oh, they have to wake up that early to cross the causeway, right? However, most of the bus in Singapore not only start operating after 5am, this created a big crowd at the bus stop waiting for the bus. They have crossed the border and now they are in Singapore trying to get to their work destination. Some will board any bus that happen to stop in front or near them. Most important is to leave the crowded bus stop and get to some other place where they can transfer to other bus services or the MRT. So I'm guessing a lot of them just bought any bus that they can, you know, board, right? Just because there's so many people in this bus stop and they just got to get the fuck away from here before they suffocate to death. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually visit this fabled bus stop to actually see how it's like in person. I mean, open invitation, anyone want to join me? Let's squeeze onto a bus together. Oh my god. <laughs> That'll be a fun excursion. Yeah, just want to talk about this. That's about it. Bye.